In today's video, we're going to talk about LUTs for your drone footage, like the DJI Air 2S, the Autel Lite Plus, the Mini 3, the Mavic 3, the Skydio 2, and many other drones. Do you need LUTs for your drone footage? Do you need to shoot in standard or log or decent alike? Or can you shoot in all of these modes and still get good results using LUTs? How do you apply them? How do you know which LUTs work in which programs? And a bunch of other questions we're gonna answer today. If you don't have LUTs for your drones, head over to dronexfactor.com and purchase my 40 pack LUTs that will work with your Air 2S, your Lite Plus, your Evo 2 Pro, your Skydio 2, your Mini 3, your Mavic 3, and many other drones. It practically will work with every drone and I'll explain to you how to apply them and how to use them. A lot of people believe that LUTs can only be used on the Cinelike or D-Log or Hyperlog gamma footage, which is those flat color profiles. But right now, I have some Skydio footage of me riding this bicycle that you see here was shot in standard color profile. So it already has color and it already looks good. Like you could take this footage and use it, right? But I wanna beef it up a little bit more. I wanna boost it up a little bit more. I want the sun over here, as you can see, looks a little bit, it, it needs some more color, a little bit more punch into it, right? I'm gonna head over to my LUTs, my Drone X Factor LUTs, and I will open up my sun exposure LUTs because I have some sun peering in over here and I just feel like it will make a good fit. So I'm going to try this one, the sun peaking LUT, and look, just hover over it. Bang, look at that. Hover over it. Now, you don't have to go with that. You can go with the other ones. You can go with the other LUTs. Look at sun details. Just hover over the LUT, and you can see this one doesn't look good. I don't like that one. This one looks all right. This one looks a little bit too strong and oversaturated. I like this one, a nice, balanced, colorful look. So you just double-click on it. And that's it, the LUTs apply to your footage. So when we come back over here, I've got two pieces of footage. The first piece over here that's highlighted, this is the standard color profile. So we'll open it up and just play it. This is what Skydio 2, in, in case you haven't heard of the Skydio 2 drone, does a great job straight out of camera. And then you'll see when my LUTs come on, boom, that's the sun exposure, a lot more rich, a lot more punchy. There you go. Look at that punchiness. Look at the grass. It just looks a lot fuller, a lot greener. Look at the sky over here. You can barely see the sun and its colors here. It's kind of capturing the goldenness from the sky and just bringing the whole image more to life. So you can use LUTs on standard color profile. You just have to be aware that if that LUT has not specifically been designed for log or decent alike, all you have to do is turn the saturation down a little bit. So if this is a little too oversaturated for you, just click on the image, come over here to the saturation and turn it down. Look, I turned it down to 37. Normally it comes at 50 and look at that. That's way too oversaturated, although some people might like that. So yeah, so if you're a beginner and you're thinking, oh, I can't use LUTs, I don't film in in the Cinelike and all of that. No, just turn down the saturation. You'll still get the benefits of the LUTs. So these LUTs basically are themes. That's what they are. They give your image a specific theme look, right? So this here really uh, makes the sun peak. That's the theme of this LUT. These are all in the sun exposure pack. Bear in mind, not every LUT will look good in every scenario. They're cloudy days. They are overcast days. They are sunny days. They're rainy days. They're days where there's it's nice and hot, but there's no clouds out there. Days when you're facing the sun, when you're facing away from the sun. There's winter, there's snow, there's Oh my gosh, there's so much changes that go on in the sky. There's nights that are black, there are nights that are blue, there are nights that are full of stars, there are nights that have no stars. So there's no telling for sure exactly which LUT will look good under any circumstance. And that's why you have a plethora of LUTs to choose from. You just hover over it and you pick the one that you want. So let's jump over to the Air 2S. Here you'll see I have some footage already lined up for you. Look at this. This is your D-Log footage. This is D-Log and all I applied was one lot to this. It's flat. This is the way it comes out of the camera when you select D-Log. And not only was I flying D-Log here, but I was flying D-Log auto. And just look at this footage. It goes from flat. Look at this color being applied. This is the DJI safe 
log LUT. So this means that it's safe. The colors are not shifted a lot. It's meant to give you as natural possible look straight out of camera. So this is a safe LUT. You can apply it to almost any single DJI drone in that shoots log and you will pretty much get nice, not oversaturated, not over popping, but really, really nice looking colors. Look at those greens, not too bright, not too green. And the buildings in the background, nice and luscious. Look at all the colors that still retain the color in the water. Everything just looks natural and pure. The sky doesn't look too bright or too rich or too oversaturated. It just looks like pretty much what the human eye will see. So yeah, this LUT's in here as well. And I, of course, shot this in 5.4K. That helps to retain more information. So if you can, set your drone to log and 5.4K, and these LUTs will really, really stand out to you. There's also the warp log, right? There's a new LUT that I recently added. Now, the warp is not necessarily to give you uh, color accurate, but it's just a theme where everything looks kind of warped. And look at it. It has like a nice uh, uh, Gotham City kind of a look to it. It looks great for train shots and cities and stuff like that. So, And this, obviously, too, was shot with the DJI Air 2S in log. Not only does it work in the day, but you can also try these in the nights. Now, I do have dedicated night LUTs as well that look great in the night for all these different drones. But don't just think because it says night, you have to stick to the night. This is the warp um, LUT with the Air 2S at night, and it has a really nice golden feel to it. Hover over each shot that you have and try out each LUT and see which one works best for you. You can see over here the Autel footage. This is the Autel uh, 4K 10-bit log footage. So this was shot in log with the Autel Evo 2 Pro, uh, one of my favorite drones. And boom, look at that. From the exposure pack, look at how flat it went. You would never think that that yellow is in the sky, right? But the LUTs are tweaked to bring that color out of the sky and without damaging the color on the ground. So this is one of my favorite. This is the sun, it's found in the sun exposure pack and it's the light plus log LUTs. Even the DJI FPV footage, look at that swinging around. This is flat. Now the DJI FPV actually shoots in decent alike as well as Nevada. So any of these two drones as well, these LUTs will work. We'll go to the extreme LUT package and we'll look for peaking log. That's the one that I want to add. This one's a little too strong. This one, no. No, I do not like that one. This one kind of okay, but the sky, I don't like how the sky looks. This one looks good, but I don't like the sky, but I don't like how the ground looks. This one here is a beautiful blend. I love that blue rich sky, nice and bright greens, and definitely bright oranges. Looks nice. Double click on the Peking Log LUT from the Extreme Pack, and there it goes. It's applied to the footage. So come back to the beginning of the footage. Boom. Look at that now. So this is before and after. Before and after. What was flat is now bright. Flat, bright. Now, let's take a look at some Mavic 3 footage. This is straight out of camera, standard color profile, nothing fancy on the Mavic 3. This is a sunset shot, basically. And you can see this looks really good out of camera. But what if you want to change the tones a little bit over here? Maybe you're not happy with the blues. What happens if you want to amplify the sun a little bit more? Before, after before see the green maybe the green is too rich and dark you want to brighten that up there you go boom use your pro tune plus lut from the night pack right so you might be thinking oh it's not night no but it's nearing night the sun is setting right so the night luts work here as well there you go just bring everything to more life make the sun a little bit more pronounced you see the lut kind of highlighted here and just kind of blew this footage out we can Go to the color page, go to your HDR wheels, which is high dynamic range, and just turn down the light a little bit so we can get rid of that overexposure. Look at that overexposure go away, boom. So look at it now. Look at that before, 
after. Oh my gosh, what a beauty. Before, after. Look at that. Before, dark. Looks nice if you're going for that rich look, but how about a bright, bright, contrasty fall sunset? What about your mini three footage? Let's look at the mini footage. Look at this decent alike. Flat. And then all of a sudden, I add this cartoon decent alike LUT, which is one of the LUTs that I developed with the Mini 3. Looks really, really nice as well. And gives the whole footage just this cartoony kind of effect. Not necessarily color accurate, but fun to look at. So there you go. And if you're looking for the cartoon LUT, it's right in the extreme LUT under the cartoon sunset. There it is, the cartoon sunset LUT. Sometimes we fly FPV drones and we slap our GoPros on there and we put it in a mode called ProTune, right? So you got your flat GoPro ProTune, which is like their flat color profile. Still has some color in it, but it's flat, very similar to Decinalite. And then boom, we can apply the dull to life. And that one is found in the Drone X Factor signature signature LUT pack as well. You can find the dull to life. So here we go with standard protoon footage and dull to life protoon dull to life protoon the dull to life so it just brings that footage to life so LUTs are basically great starting points but hardly ever a finishing point it's a great place for you to start and apply a theme and tweak it from there on out. Whether you're in auto and standard color profile or if you're in a more advanced log with manual exposure settings. And the more options you have, the better chances are you'll find a LUT that matches what you're looking for. Last but not least, we have the light plus footage here and I'm using um, log footage at night which a lot of people don't like to shoot you can shoot standard color profile as well i'm sure there's a lot in this pack that will suit you beautifully no matter which drone you're using but for this example i have the autel light plus which is one of my favorite drones to film at night in log there's just so much information in here slap this lut on the crush night log lut and bring your image to life all right with that being said guys make sure you head over to dronexfactor.com download my LUTs pack it's a great way to get started in color grading and in DaVinci and any other program that you're interested in there's a ton of LUTs there one will definitely work for you so when you come to the website you hit add to bag you pay for it You'll get a email because you have to put your email when you're purchasing it. You'll get an email notification with a download link. When you get that notification saying to download it from your email, you will download it to your laptop that you do editing with. And usually downloads go to your default downloads folder, whether you're on a Mac or on a PC most likely it will go to your downloads folder. You can select where you want your LUTs to be downloaded to, but most things just go to the download folder by default. So it is it is a zip file because it, these LUTs are pretty large. They contain a lot of information. So when you do get it, you have to unzip it. Basically, you just right click on it and you hit open with, right? And then you select your unzip utility. Now by default, Max come with um, archive utility and that will unzip the file. Windows, I think, uses WinZip. You can just unzip it right here in your downloads folder and all the LUTs will come out. Now you'll have a LUTs called DFX Drone LUTs. When you click on that, a bunch of different LUTs in here, just click on them. Each one has their own files here. They're all cube files, so they will work in DaVinci Resolve. They will work in Filmora that I've tested and they should work in any color grading program like Premiere Pro as long as it accepts cube files because that's the file, file format that it comes in. Good, so you got the night LUTs, you got one, two, three, four, all four packs are included in this bundle when you go to dronexfactor.com. So now that you've unparceled it in your downloads, you can right click on it, copy it or cut it depending on if you want to move it and paste it where your LUTs are. Now, if you're not sure where your LUTs are, that's fine. I'll show you how to find the LUTs in DaVinci Resolve because that's what 
I use for all my editing. Also, if you don't know anything about DaVinci Resolve and how to get started, check this link up here. I did a plethora of videos, at least three or four videos showing you how to film with the drone, how to import the footage, how to add music, how to put transitions, how to, you name it, from start to finish with DaVinci Resolve. So if you're not familiar with it, go check that out. But yeah, come to your top here in DaVinci Resolve where it says File, and then come to Project Settings. Hit Project Settings. Right, Project settings has a bunch of menus here, presets, master settings, image scaling, color manage, right? If you come to color manage, right? LUTs are colors basically, right? You come down to the bottom and it says open LUTs folder right here. As soon as you click on this, DaVinci will resolve actually comes with its own, with its own LUTs for like um, black magic cameras and airy cameras and even has a few of the older DJI LUTs that it comes with when you download DaVinci Resolve so that's pretty cool and in here's where DaVinci gets all of its LUTs from so that that you just copied from here the drone x factor LUTs you can just right click in here and, and click paste items and you'll paste all the LUTs that you just downloaded into your DaVinci LUT folder and that way DaVinci can find it like this so when you right click on it you just hit paste item, boom. Or you can drag it from your downloads and drag it into your DaVinci LUTs folder that popped up here, boom. And there you go. You got yourself your LUTs. Let me open up DaVinci so it takes up the whole page. You come to the color page over here. You press the little but LUTs button at the top left and you will see LUTs start popping up. And then you will see Drone X Factor LUTs pop up here. Click on that and all four packs will be open. You can click on the Extreme LUTs, click on the Sun Exposure, click on the Drone X Factor Night LUTs or the Signature LUTs and scroll through. You have all the LUTs at your disposal. So head over there, dronexfactor.com, download my LUTs. It's also a great way to support this channel and to help me make good content for you guys. Patreons, head over to my Patreon and look for a Patreon link where you can get about $20 off this LUT. And if you're not a patron, it's only a dollar to become a patron. Just become a patron and you get access to the code that gets you $20 off these LUTs. So go right ahead, guys. Grab those LUTs. Make sure you check out my DaVinci Resolve tutorial that shows you how to shoot this footage, import this footage. Now you know how to get your LUTs into DaVinci Resolve. You know how to access them. You know how to hover over them and use them as well. So take advantage of all these tools that I've made for you and that I've shown you how to use in DaVinci and take your drone footage to the next level or at least make something different. With that being said, guys, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you hit subscribe. Make sure you hit like button. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I release more drone videos, LUT videos, DaVinci Resolve videos in general. All right, with that being said, guys, I will catch you, well, whenever I can. Make sure you become a Patreon, guys. Big benefits to Patreon. Get direct access to me. Any questions, I'm right here on Patreon. Support this channel and there's benefits. Last Mini 2 went all the way to the UK.